Sure. So, some wood over there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is uh, that is extensive. Um, and always, uh, gutter and gutter is problematic because uh, all the way out to the front, you've got maybe the tip affected on the front side. And that second piece of wood that touches a shingle is called the, I think, the shingle mold. Um, and, and that, I think, on the front side, let me peek at it. I, I've got a crazy zoom here, and I'll put it on my, my monitor. I'll share all this video with you because I want to make good choices and not fail to get it all. Um, and I think, well, with both sides of that, usually we'll take out a small section and replace that one piece and we'll bondo it so it doesn't look like it's been repaired. And uh, with so much of that effect, we might take that hole, that's probably a 12 foot run, in the left to right, I don't know, that's longer than 12, that's probably 16 foot, and the other one is uh, probably around 12. What else? Um, <clears throat> well, I mean, I, I see the chimney. Right. Yeah. Don, there's so much affected much like the situation here usually I would just take the bottom if it's only the bottom but the middle doesn't look good and the top doesn't look good and at some point it makes sense to replace it with one or two new products that won't rot which is called Miratech or Hardy Black Hardy board uh -huh. um, let me sneak in here and uh, okay that's a four and a half that is a three and a half. Um, that is a cedar mill. And that reveal is six. Six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. Okay, so it's a short reveal at six. I've got video running. I take notes. I quit writing in graduate school when they said everything. Um, that's a long front. But let me count. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, and a half. The reason I did that is I want to know how long that trim board is. So if I do 40 and a half times six, then you get your and then I can get linear feet because if I replace the bottom, you're gonna have problems in lots of other places. So I would think a run of the two trim boards and at the bottom, and let's see if that's all we need to do, we'll just take the bottom piece off. Do you see any more points going up that? On that chimney. Yeah. Um, I would say painting the whole thing on this side because it didn't look like that was primed. Mm -hmm. But maybe on this one, let's just take up um, maybe to the second piece of siding okay. and not do the whole run because I don't see any reason to. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Um, and there's that spot there. Okay. Um, I want to. I want to talk to her about getting some drip edges because what we've got is a systems failure because she's pointing out too many rock points on fascia and that means water's getting behind the gutter for some reason and let's find a drip edge solution so we don't get invited back for the same problem. Uh, you know what a drip edge is? Mm -mm. There's a piece of steel that goes under the last gutter mm -hmm. about that long and you slip it up and you put a nail in it and there's another one that kind of hangs down that way and it throws all the water in the gutter, so water shouldn't ever touch that. Gotcha. So you you won't ever have this again. Does it matter that the gutters are sealed? Because when they did the roof, they, they sealed the gutters. I'll look at it. Okay. I'll look at it, because there there's a problem here, because this is the third point of rot on the fascia. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and that means... <laughs> Usually that indicates that you've got something wrong in lots of places. And I, I, I want to I wanna figure out why this is happening because you don't want to invite a guy out here every three to five years to do several places. Yeah. You'd rather have the drip edges installed so you never call us back for this. Yeah. But, I mean, <clears throat> if that is the crack where water gets in, 
but it's hard. And I hate replacing these because you got to take siding off. But see, that's hard, but you got to get some caulk or something in there. Okay, I can do that. Or water will come in. Okay. What else, ma'am? Hey Don, I found a spot. And it looks good, except here. Hey. What happens sometimes hey. they don't paint the bottom. Gotcha. Water. It well, it's capillary action. It pulls it up. So they did a pretty botchy paint job. This what you're telling me? And they all didn't want to. <laughs> when was it painted? Um. How long? Well, they bought the house in 2005. Compraste ese en 2005? El de cuatro. 2004. Y ya estaba pintado todo. Pintado, no, no. La casa afuera estaba pintada. No, la pintamos nosotros. ¿Cuándo? Ah, uh, el MIC. El MIC, so they had it painted in 2006. They did it correctly. Hicieron, no lo hicieron yeah. bien. They, you they shouldn't, you shouldn't have these problems now sí. with the things I say. Yeah. If you want a painting quote, I can offer one. Okay. And let you know, kind of let's see if it makes sense. All right. Yeah, we're trying to get the house prepped to put it up. I told to my husband, he buy back inside the, the paint. Because the man who came in, he bought the paint. Yeah. And he knew the, the, the paint. I have to ask, is that Portuguese? Spanish, Spanish. from Spain. Right next to Portugal, so yeah, close but enough. It's, yeah. it's, it's, Spain Spanish. It, it was it's entirely Spanish. different than the, the Latin American Spanish. Yeah. A friend of mine that teaches at the University of South Carolina, it's an international business, mm -hmm. and she's native qualified for Portuguese and Spanish. Oh, okay. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a different dialect. And... It is unbelievably different. But, um, uh, and, uh, you see the point here um, but that's the only point and probably both sides we would take the bottom corner okay. so um, okay uh, you see behind your gutter how dark it is uh -huh. I don't know why it's dark except for water going behind the gutter it's, it shouldn't look like that there's something going on you see the amount of debris in the gutter you see those yeah. little black lines that are that's uh but i'm wondering how stuff is getting in there because the gutter should be sealed yeah that's what the roofers were supposed to do i agree and, and all right um and so they, they, they let me the gutters, but i don't know if they failed to clean them or stuff just gets in anyway or... don i'm gonna get a zoom on your boots because there's three guys up there protecting your house from water and let me back out so I can find the next one. Yeah, okay. And with this camera, I can get real close. Because I don't want to be up there with a ladder. It doesn't make sense not replace them because they're probably 20 bucks a piece. And uh, it's not an easy roof to climb, but we can. Yeah, it is. I'm up there. Yeah. Okay, what else? Yeah, I would say the, the, the darkest mold and uh, a pressure wash would serve you very well okay. in just cleaning the house. I can better nice. see that gutter. Looks like a gutter helmet. The joke in this industry, I, when I quit teaching 15 years ago and got involved in home improvement, is the gutter guards make it difficult to clean gutters out. They still get full of stuff. So, um, so they're anyhow. really pointless. Some of them are better than others. But, um, you know, for my money, I would invite a guy to my house about this time every year before it gets too hot and clean them all out. Okay. And I wouldn't buy the gutter guards because they're real expensive. Uh -huh. okay. But if they were here I mean, when you bought it, you're kind of, uh, you know, 
So, anyhow. Well, it, they had the roof redone, and that's when they installed them. Because they were like, yeah, this would be great. Keep you, you know, because yeah. my parents are, you know, they're kind of up there in age. Then um, cleaning gutters isn't really something they <laughs> need to be doing. So. I, I would answer that question with an emphatic maybe. Mm -hmm. They may be better. But um, what else? Let's, let's uh, think your bottom of the... Usually the these, these door points. <clears throat> um, you see how wrink wrinkly, yeah. irregular. Um, that looks like a repair, but it looks like a good repair. Okay. And what happened? It may be a rot, but it's 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 fine. Okay. It's not real pretty. Okay. okay. Um, I noticed the chimney. And I wanted to get a camera. The front looks good. Yeah, the chimney over there. Um, it's the only chimney. Well, I wanted to. You see the um, the trim board oh, in the back yeah. corner. I yeah, saw I that. It. Let me get a zoom on it. Okay, that's both of them. You know, I will share this with you. The great thing about this house is you have a cement fiberboard siding and it can't rot. Oh, well that's good. And the other thing I saw, um, I don't know if that tip is fine or not. Let's look at it all, look at it together on a zoom. Mm -hmm. And I'll share this. Um, the top point of the upper tube. maybe if nothing else painting and I want to see the back corner of the chimney usually if you have three rock points on a chimney the ones on the roof sides are the most vulnerable um, be careful you see you've got two shingle points they're kind of bent down uh -huh. and when that happens it runs down the fascia but if the fascia is in good shape, that's not real risky. And somebody painted the underside of the, of the shingles. All right, let's see if I can get out of the sun. The cameras don't look in the sun real well. And there he is, and he doesn't look good. Okay, um, so for example, what I'm going to do when I get back is you'll have a shot kind of like this so that you can tell what it is in that corner where the hole is. I'm going to try to also describe it as the back right rear okay. and try to describe each point. Work up an itemized quote. Um, 